In this video, I'll look at how to use sectors to find setups, specifically using telechart. So let's start by looking at telechart. When you are in telechart and when you go to the main page, all page, here you'll see that my favorite charts with notes, flagged items, drawing, sector indexes, industry. Now, this is what you need to look at industry, not the sector, because sector is like a broadly defined, you can look at sector also, but that's like an, a, it will have only uh, 11 sectors broadly defined like consumer defensive, uh, consumer cyclicals, uh, then healthcare, uh, technology, real estate, industrial, uh, con communication services, financial services, utilities, uh, basic material, and energy. So what you can do is like say, this is 10 days that means like how much c by c10 is basically the scale uh, thing supposing we sorted by uh, that uh, what what does it tell you that energy was the top performing sector in last 10 days or like uh, basic material was number two or like utilities is number three while uh, technology was the lagging sector or healthcare was the lagging sector now these are very broad sectors like if you go to say uh, like if you go to uh, energy when you're on that particular sector okay uh, you will see this okay when you see this this click on that open component watch list so if you open component watch list it will open all the stocks 396 stocks are on this sx90 uh, so you can go through that stock to look for which stock in the last 10 days was doing best because again this list has been sorted by uh, i don't think it has been sorted by the same thing uh, but uh, why it is not sorted by 10 thing I don't know but we can do that very quickly I have these uh, uh, things so I add this column and move it uh, left so okay so if you look at that and sort it by 10 days daily then you can find out uh, again because like you're looking at uh, the entire list and there is no liquidity condition attached to it you're getting all these like weird things because these are all like sometimes they're traded zero but uh, if you keep looking at this what you'll find is that like say here like this was one of the best performing stock in the last 10 days or like uh, this PACD or uh, Amid. So these are the stocks which did the best in the last 10 days in that sec uh, sector. But this sector level thing is too broad. So what you have to do is instead of looking at sector level, go to the uh, in um, industry. Now when you go to the industry, there are 146 industry. In the 146 industries, what you're really looking at is like different subcategories like uh, computer distribution is part of the technology sector or like say silver is part of the basic material sector when you say basic material is too broad here it is much more thing now so we have this list now of 146 and I sorted it by 10 days and you will see that the c computer distribution this might be either an error in data or uh, that particular sector or that particular this thing might have been there might have been a buyout or something we'll fi figure out like so uh, once you are into that particular list you can always go here click now you get a very limited list to look at like say you get WSTG uh, PCC uh, PPS SPSS Ingram Micro um, I think that Ingram micro buyout might have been but that's not uh, so I think this is an error like there is some uh, data error in that particular thing so but like here you don't see anything much uh, in that in true sense of the world because there is not stock but like let's go to silver and let's look at silver okay uh, now if you look at silver and go to that particular sector and uh, you can what you can do is you can like and you know, take this and tab here so once you tab here okay uh, you get these all these stocks and uh, I had added that 10 day but it is not added so I can add it back so I go to my indicators and add uh, see for those who are looking at what is it C by C10 that's just to find out how much a, star, a sector has moved in the um, last 10 days so if you go and uh, move this because otherwise you won't be able to see the stocks what you'll see is in the silver sector okay um, let's sort it by that 
once you sorted by that this is the best performing stock in the last 10 days uh, then your S ssri then your uh, hecla mining then your fsm and then you have silver uh, silver return and going on like and i say the stocks uh, like see these are laggards these stocks didn't do as well so this way you can keep looking at the uh, sectors list or the industry list and keep looking at finding where that particular uh, sector is in terms of uh, its trend and then when you find a sector which is in trend that is when uh, what you can do is you can find the so if you see now which sectors on a 10 day basis are doing well so let's look at like say top 20 sectors uh, uh, this is a data error okay you have silver okay uh, you have utilities diversified utilities again i think some of these look like data, data errors to me uh, but like and you have gold okay uh, you have copper uh, then you have oil and gas drilling okay you have infrastructure operations now you don't know what infrastructure operation is so you can always go and there is only one stock in it so uh, that might be a mexican stock it's a mexican air uh, airport carrier i think or something like that uh, you have truck manufacturers so let's see truck manufacturers uh, which one is doing best uh, uh, in fact and i you have this uh, Oshkosh, which was like one of the stocks, Spartan, then VNC, Navistar, Picar, and all. So this way you can sort the uh, list basically. Now what you have to do is basically because uh, you can make money using sector only if you can find a sector trend early because if you like and look at it too late in the game uh, then like the, uh, the stocks have already moved. So what you can do is you can look at daily the sectors on a five day and say okay what is it that is going up in last five days and where the new trend is starting where most of these copper and all are already uh, up so you have to find like you'll have to probably look at the top 10 or 20 or probably 50 sec 40 sectors to find the one which are like just starting to move like say this confectioners okay for whatever reason let's see uh, is now breaking out so that might be a new trend starting so you have Hershey's uh, Mondelez uh, which is uh, going up RMC of uh, so there are not many uh, like this basically the big company is here uh, this so now you can say okay like if this sector move is starting uh, then you might want to buy that okay so then you have steel uh, so uh, utilities now the utilities are coming back like the utilities went sideways now they are again going uh, attracting buy interest which is uh, defensive money flowing into defensive again now food distribution now this is a kind of a situation where you know okay, look, and there is a big breakout in the sector itself so let's look at what, where are these uh, in food distribution I think Cisco is uh, one of them like say core market uh, yeah Cisco which is basically where the big thing because uh, the most of these uh, sector indexes or uh, the industry indexes are capitalized weighted if a big stock in that sector goes up uh, then everything uh, looks as going up like so you basically have this stock which is breaking out and that is why that sector is up okay but like say this is uh, another f food distribution company if the sector is going to go up like this is likely to break out so that's how you find uh, stocks in that particular thing or like and I say this is another stock in that sector shape which is setting up so it might break out so then you can create a watch list of those stocks okay uh, so basically you have to look at the top 40 sectors basically because a lot of some of these are like in a way extended and I'll show you another ways to look at this also many ways like say you have Latin American banks which is just like auto truck dealership lumber and wood products again like this is just breaking out right and so you don't need to look at the five days for that but like kind of we are looking at like you can just look at so you have some of these lumber and wood product companies like see boys casket which is a large company basically now uh, breaking out there Dell Tick Timber OSP uh, no OSP Ryanair uh, warehouse uh, 
so these are like any stocks in that particular sector so you can find this okay now so let's look at like say a different way a ytd percentage change this is a system criteria which you can add as a column now let's look at like which sectors have done the best uh, and which sectors have done the best uh, worst uh, so you'll see that uh, this is data error as i said yeah steel as the best performing sector and that is why you'll see that like if you see the stocks under it uh, you have like and uh, you see this uh, uh, almost every stock in that sector is up and uh, see you have x and your new car and you have rs reliance steel team uh, team can sch and usap and all of them were like an uh, up basically okay now uh, that's like and uh, that's the sector which really made a move uh, yeah, so far uh, then you have at number 2 is industrial metals and minerals which is basically this is a subset of that so that is copper so if you see under the copper you'll see that fcx will be one of the better performing stock there uh, see you'll see, uh, see scco fcx so that's really the big stock in that sector okay uh, then you have like an you know, utilities diversified regional latin america uh, the banks in latin america has done well so you can like and you know, try and find out which are the one and some of them might be setting up for further uh, this thing breakouts so these are all the banks in that uh, bbd banco satander which is a brazilian bank uh, like, so most of these are uh, either brazilian or uh, mexican banks i think uh, then you have infrastructure operations where there was only one then truck manufacturer this is ytd we are looking at okay which sector has done best uh, then you have utilities Uh, so then you have apparel manufacturers uh, then oil and gas uh, metal fabrication which is again related to the uh, iron industry i think oil and gas integrated uh, farm and construction equipment Uh, and if you see the other thing part of this is like and i say instead of looking at this on a daily if you look at it on a weekly okay you will see that like these are the sectors uh, which are like basically most of them are from a bottom coming up like they were in a multi year decline since 2014 the still uh, stocks were in decline or not only 2014 there was one brief rally in 2013 in fact and they have been in decline since around 2011 and then they rallied sharply uh, similarly industrial metals because that's the sub category copper same situation you will see that it really didn't really make any uh, move since 2011 topping out in 2011 now it is bouncing back uh, or uh, utilities uh, uh, regional latin american banks infrastructure operation is as against that this is a sector which is already going up and it had a breakout okay uh, truck manufacturer uh, utilities again see they just went sideways and they had a breakout here okay uh, then you have apparel manufacturers see all these are like an stock beaten down sectors led the rally and that's one of the reason why if you're looking at stocks with momentum or if you're looking at uh, uh, if you're looking at basically um, stocks near 52 week high or which had already momentum they were not the one which are participating if you are in a very beaten down kind of a sector uh, then that was the best performing sector so uh, like coal it's like an uh, or aluminum is now starting to rally uh, while this food distribution is near 52 week high okay so that's another way of looking at sectors the top 40 sectors when you are looking at sectors around like and i say you need to look at around uh, one third of the sector so you have around like 146 sectors so you are looking at around 45 to 50 sectors to really get an idea okay so you have recreational vehicle again okay, which are like an uh, rallying back or railroad which have been struggling for 2 3 years and they are now uh, you don't know necessarily this is like an a counter trend bounce that might fail also while a sector sector which really gets going for multi year will have multiple uh, c- corrections and then it will keep, keep going up so that's uh, where the money has flown in and that is why you will see that like many of the things which are like uh, really uh, technology and all they underperform so let's look at like say top 40 we looked at here um, to get an idea as to what is happening so beaten down sectors sectors which were correcting uh, that's where the money flowed 
now if you look at why tt percentage change the other way around which is like say which sector has gone down the most uh, then look at like say your drug manufacturer specialty generic which is down which is where your vrx of the world and you can always look at what is there in it by going to the list and you have 87 stocks and if you look at them uh, what you will see is that uh, whichever way you want to like and i will just start by mdt and you will see that uh, there are like an uh, stocks like vrx in it and uh, maybe mnk this is on a weekly right so this is uh, you see like a uh, stock has been decimated or uh, most of these stocks have been decimated too because their entire logic of a price based uh, thing has come under pressure uh, endp or uh, lanet and company Perigro. So uh, that's those are the stocks which are like that is the worst performing sector I think uh, YTD which is basically the drug manufacturer generic. Then you see solar and if you see solar again like uh, one after the other the solar stocks have been dropping like flies uh, uh, because of serial good solar or even first solar has gone down and that canadian solar whatever csiq or uh, is down vivian solar is down at and at, at, actually there's one bankruptcy in that sector so you don't even see that that was the uh, i don't know which company it was like it went bankrupt like canadian solar is just going sideways like you now long term solar sun power uh, youngly green first solar so all of them are down so that's the sector so what it tells you is look and if you see a breakout also and if you know the sector trend and if you see a breakout in a sector uh, then you have to be careful like say uh, if you see like say there was a breakout in this particular stock okay and uh, the other things everything looked very nice but if you see the sector that sector hasn't been doing well because the sector for this is airlines and if you come to this list somewhere you'll see that airlines see semiconductors are not doing well your biotechnology which is again like after a multi-year rally is like corrected now okay uh, or like you, know, you have broadcasting tv or you have personal services or capital market auto manufacturer bank and regional oil and gas data uh, storage is down staffing and outsourcing paper and paper products down specialty finances down grocery store consumer electronics auto truck dealership which have started bouncing back a little bit residential construction is down shipping and port is down long-term care facilities which are doing very well like just here and they are down now uh, so your rental and leasing services which have started to bounce back recently are down you have airlines as i said like airlines are down uh, so this is on a weekly basis let's look at delhi you'll see that it so if you get a uh, breakout in that uh, you have to be skeptical that because the sector is going down and in fact and if this sector has just broken down if you're looking for a shorting ideas then this is the kind of a sector you want to see because it has just broken down okay uh, so you want to see like and i say all of the stocks will probably show a similar pattern most of them some of them will not uh, some of these are latin american airlines but you see like delta airline okay so if it has a counter -trend and bounce or UAL or your jet blue all, all of them will look more or less same Alaska because the entire sector is going down um, you'll see that kind of a say a large stocks in that sector were going down or low so so if you're looking for shorting ideas you look at sectors which are weak and now in order to do that instead of looking at YTD it is better to look at on a five day like if you look at on a five day kind of a thing you can find a sector trend starting very quickly because uh, like you see consumer electronics is down now what what explains this consumer electronic being down a lot if you use your thinking hat uh, Apple must be in this particular uh, sector so let's see if apple is there in this particular sector and let's see uh, yes see apple is there gpro harmo so that's why that sector is down a lot because capitalization weighted right and the sectors are capitalization weighted uh, you have medical distribution down uh, and you'll see a lot of stocks in that sector are down if you go down uh, in recent days like all of them have started falling down uh, so that's how you know okay look at oh. then you have biotechnology then you have oil and gas uh, refining data storage down you have bank regional asia down and you have specialty generic down medical uh, and 
So those are like stuffings. So airlines, see, you see airlines here. Now instead of looking at five days, so you have to keep like and you know, looking at multiple time frames so for sector trends. You look at ten days. So if you look at ten days, you will find that uh, the worst performing were like consumer electronic again. Apple explains that. See airlines. Uh, so it's just a young downtrend or resorts and casinos. So if you're looking for shorting ideas, you look for those sectors like airlines, uh, uh, the staffing services. Like you'll see a lot of breakdowns in that staffing services recently. I think manpower or something was there, and jobs and paychecks and uh, see here this is a breakdown in this TBI assignment. Uh, somewhere I saw that like I think uh, MNH. Uh, so you can go through this manpower like and I see here it broke down on high volume so that's how you can figure out okay same way you can look at what is in 10 days going up like say last 10 days you have silver going up but see it is bit extended not only bit extended it's a lot extended you're looking for a sector which goes into a trend and then okay, sets up so, uh, so you can uh, slice and dice the sector data in n number of uh, ways but uh, typically use a shorter time frame on sectors because if you use too long a time frame yes it will tell you like if you go by say MDT yes it will tell you which sector is doing well obviously because this sector has made a big move uh, but uh, you have to find sector trends early because uh, that is when you will make money so for that you have to use a shorter time frame so if you are trying to find uh, straights using sector trends then every day you can start by looking at how much which sector is up the most percentage uh, and see if there are a lot of uh, say food distribution is up which as i explained to you was because of cisco and also it is breaking out of the sector is breaking out of a long consolidation so you can look at cisco now this is just trying to bounce back the solar uh, your result these are all counter trend bounces but yeah with this confectionery which was up uh, you had like you know, this lumber and wood production up uh, you had like this rates which were like any going sideways insurance so so you can see which stocks are in that particular uh, sector and then look at it or you can look at ytd you can look at five to ten days but i would say that for sectors uh, look at trends on five to ten days and then you can look at ytd for a longer term kind of a trend uh, and also you can look at like which sector is near 52 week high you see you have food distribution near 52 week high or uh, obviously this uh, gold and silver have done well so they have gone uh, now probably to 52 week high or may not be still but uh, you will see that uh, which sectors are near 52 week low so you have like say if you're a bottom fisher then you'll go and look at say semiconductor sector or you look at shipping and ports for uh, ideas if, if you're looking for bounces from that sector as against that if you're looking for like buying relative strength then you look at a sector which is near 52 week high okay and the other way is to look at ytd because if you're looking at say doing a bottom fishing then you will go and say okay um, generic drug are going to bounce back whatever and then or solar is going to bounce back so that's the way you can look at these uh, sector trends using the data in telechart always remember that it is very easy and it is also easy to find any um, stock sector because it says consumer electronics here okay apple uh, and uh, if you go uh, you can find uh, somewhere like uh, if you have apple in this list here supposing then you can find its sector again it will show you like say let's see uh, what can i do again so let's say liquidity and sorted by say capitalization if you saw sorted by capitalization uh, or latest float let's do it by latest float uh, you will find that say apple okay now you have apple so when you have apple here okay um, i don't know i forgot now how to find the sector but uh, it's here also like technology sector consumer electronic but there is a way also which i don't remember now uh, where you can like and i say from the uh, ticker go to the sector list for that particular stock uh, which obviously I f cannot find it now but that's how on a larger basis you can use the sector ranking to find uh, ideas basically or to know 
themes in the market basically it is to know the themes in the market like currently what is happening as you can clearly see is that if you are not in one of these sectors and if you are not in silver or gold or uh, there's like rest of the stuff hasn't done very well because it's a rally which is driven by these particular kind of sectors and they are sectors which are basically uh, beaten down sectors i've been talking to like people who are like uh, ibd kinds and uh, growth investors and all like uh, and uh, they all saying like look uh, Uh, we are struggling you can't find anything which is like an in my scans uh, the reason is because most of the rally is being led by uh, things which were down the most like if you see any of these sectors on a weekly chart most of the sectors are sectors which were like basically see here uh, it was down and uh, or gold or copper they were down for multi years and then they bounce back so that's the uh, reason the other thing which you need to know a little bit about sectors is that look and which sector produces the biggest winners and uh, historically the biggest winners have come through technology retail restaurants Uh, consumer uh, kind of companies which are like say monster or nutrisystem because they are like an uh, basically you don't get too many big winners uh, from commodities unless the entire commodity sector is in a rally mode you are unlikely to get a big moves out of aluminum or uh, basic material sector unless that entire sector is in a historically you will find that like technology leisure related activities which is where like you have the restaurants you have like discretionary spending basically what we are talking about or like fashion related like uh, shoes or uh, 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 teenage fashion or ladies fashion Uh, that's where like gaps or like an uh, gap is no more the growth stock but lululemon was at was some stage it is still uh, it is no more a growth stock but ulta if you see ulta as an example of that like see this is where the big multi year and really big winners come in or even when home depot made a very big move many many years ago that's a retail sector so that's where that's a, another layer of understanding of sector can look and where do big winners come from they'll come from uh, technology they'll come from biotechnology they will come from retail they will come from uh, restaurants they will come from consumer products uh, consumer products like any fruit products or uh, uh, fashion oriented products uh, that tends to produce the big winner the 400 500 600% kind of big movers uh, in the sectors like basic material if the sector is doing well like say currently gold and silver is doing well that's when those stocks do well as a, they move as a group as against that you'll find that there is a lot of variety in retail like not every retail company might be doing well but a select few retail might be doing well like retail is not doing well but you have say olis bargain outlet which is doing well why because it's like an, something new okay or like <laughs> restaurants as a group may not be doing well but you can have uh, like you, you, most of the restaurant uh, other restaurant companies were not doing well but you had Ch- chipotle mexican grill doing cmg doing very well because at that stage it was in a growth phase it is no more in a growth phase now so that's understanding of that kind of a sector is also important because that is where if you're looking for larger position trades and all uh, where to concentrate your or energy on you will find um, on so that's really a uh, introduction and for next couple of days i will every day do uh, a little bit of sector video small 5 minutes to look at what are the sector trends so that you get uh, more detail or if you have any questions you leave it on this video and i'll answer in the next video which i'll do probably tonight or tomorrow